I'll be there. Join me at AADNS annual conference in Virginia this June. I promise you'll get fresh vision on moving long-term care and post-acute care forward in this challenging world. Hi, my name is Amy Waiko with Provider Magazine, and I'm here today with Anders Jensen, who is Commercial Advisor for the Royal Danish Consulate General in New York. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And we appreciate your time. I know that you're really busy here at the HCA Convention. Um, could you first tell us about some of the work that you're doing with care providers in the U.S., and specifically about the exchange of knowledge that you're engaging with? For sure, yeah. So as a part of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark, uh, we are working to increase the knowledge exchange between Denmark and the U.S. in a variety of different sectors, one of them being within senior and long-term uh, long care. And as, as part of this, we look at major players in the U.S. to teach them about the Danish uh, market and the Danish model of healthcare that's quite different from, uh, from what you're used to. And at the same time, we look for not as much Danish providers, but Danish companies within this space, mostly within assistive technologies, in trying to help them educate them about the U.S. market and try to identify opportunities for them uh, based, on, uh, based on the products that they build out of the Danish model. Great. And what are some of the, I mean, in your work, so, so how long have you been working at the council at four? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. And so what are some of the differences, you observe differences between long-term care in Denmark and perhaps here in the U.S.? I mean, a key, a key part, of course, is, is the different in the, in the, in the, paying, uh, the payment model. Uh, Denmark has a universal health care system, uh, single payer, uh, whereas uh, in the U.S., it's, uh, depending on the area of care, it's, uh, it can be go from 100% private pay and up until certain, uh, certain subsidized models. So, so even there, there's a very big difference. And of course, it also reflects on the organizations who take, who take care of, uh, of, of the users in, in, in this space. Uh, in, in the US, if, if you need to make a business out of it, you need to uh, worry about your efficiency and, and your profitability. And uh, in Denmark, that's not, uh, that's not the same focus. You, with a single payer system, you can allow yourself to focus significantly more on the user, uh, the quality of life, uh, independence, and so on. That's wonderful. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about the assistive te technology and what you're working on in that area? For sure, yeah. So we have been uh, consulting uh, with uh, several uh, Danish companies in the assisted living uh, space and, assisti and assistive uh, technology uh, that have been uh, you can almost say that their products have been born out of the Danish uh, healthcare system and, and senior care system in that in, 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 instead of necessarily focusing on efficiency and, and, and lowest cost, uh, the Danish system has allowed them to focus on uh, independence, for example, uh, which has, uh, a, a good example is, is one of the companies exhibiting at, at, the, at the expo here, uh, Preslet Care who does uh, assistive uh, uh, aids for uh, bathrooms and kitchens uh, that allows for uh, the users to do, uh, just do, do, more, do more on their own, be less dependent on the caregivers. And even in the situations where you need, do need caregivers, then having that be as, as little as, as possible. Uh, which, which, and and, and, and if, if you look at the products, that translates to uh, uh, very flexible uh, 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 sinks, for example, that can be adjusted in height, adjusted lengthwise, uh, to really uh, 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 open up and for whatever needs the, the user has. Uh, it's definitely not the, the cheapest products out there, very few Danish products are, but uh, I think what Danish companies have learned over time is that the, the, the primary focus on quality of life and independence and really making some great, great design out of that in the end will have a, a long-term uh, benefit economically as well. So, so basically a win-win that we're trying to educate these, uh, these companies on that there's a, there's a market for that in the U.S. as well. And just, you know, there's an extra question, there's a lot of, but is there anything about what you'll be doing in the future, um, you know, maybe over the next five or ten years that you want to share, that you'll be focusing on? Is there a project in particular that you're working on that 
you'd like to share with us? I think in, in, in January this year, we, uh, we managed to put together a delegation trip with several uh, uh, members of HCA, bring them to Denmark, teach them about the, the Danish uh, system, so that they had something to bring back, but at the same time ask them to contribute uh, with their input on, on a various, uh, of, uh, many different areas. So they met with the Ministry of Health that controls the area, they met with the municipalities that are in charge of healthcare budgets, and they met with several Danish providers in the assisted uh, living space. Uh, and uh, as much as now I've, I've spoken to several of them uh, today, as much as they brought home in terms of experience with the Danish systems and, and other ways of, 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 of getting maybe the same job done, I think we learned a tremendous amount for, from these people as well. So going forward, having even more of these exchanges, I think is something that we'll definitely be focusing on. Perfect. Well, thank you. Great. Thanks for your time.